ever thought about being a hero? Heroes aren't just in the movies. Heroes can be anyone who does something good to help somebody else. Like Philip. When James almost fell off a bridge, it was Philip who came to his rescue. And Stephen once risked his own safety to stop Gordon from going over a broken bridge. And when I thought I was rescuing the actor, I wasn't trying to be an action hero. I was just trying to keep the actor safe. You don't need to be in a film to be a hero. You just need to help somebody in need. Maybe you'll be a hero one day. Maybe you already are. Come on, Thomas! It's time to go. See you next time. <laughs> things is fun, but sometimes we all need a little bit of help to understand something new. When Dowager Hat tried to run the railway, she kept on making mistakes and caused a lot of confusion and delay, before Emily helped her learn which engines were the right ones for each job. Nia didn't know how to read numbers, so Annie and Clarabelle taught her. Nia is a very clever engine, and she learned very quickly. Sometimes everybody needs help, and everybody should be given the chance to learn new things. Maybe you'll learn something new today too. It could be reading or singing or learning about numbers, or even how to move a cow when she's blocking the line. <laughs> Come on, Thomas! It's time to go. See you next time. <laughs> When Rebecca came to Sodor, she worried that the others were better than she was. Rebecca tried very hard to do her best, but I know that sometimes when I try too hard, I make mistakes. When I first came to Sodor, I left the station before I was coupled up to my coaches. <laughs> and when Rebecca came to Sodor, she kept leaving earlier than she was supposed to. And soon, she was so early that passengers were missing their trains, and she was getting in the way. And that was a mistake. Being too early was not so useful after all. But it's okay to make mistakes. Everybody makes them. That's how you learn to do things better, just like I did. Come on, Thomas! It's time to go. See you next time. <laughs> Have you ever played a game where you pretend something is real when it isn't? I like to use my imagination to pretend, but sometimes it's hard to know what is really true. One time, I imagined I had wings like an aeroplane so I could fly. But it was only pretend. I didn't really have wings. Merlin thinks that he can make himself disappear. But he can't really make himself invisible. It's only pretend. Sometimes it's important to know what's real and what's pretend. But playing make-believe games can still be fun. Come on, Thomas! It's time to go. See you next time. ever played a game that got out of hand? Sometimes a game can stop being fun or even hurt someone's feelings. One time, 
Diesel played a trick on Paxton by getting all the Diesels to hide from him. Paxton was very upset and thought all the Diesels had left the island. Another time, I was racing with Max and Monty. It was good fun, until they took the game too far. They raced over the railway line and could have caused an accident. Bill and Ben thought their game of Hunt the Truck was very funny, until they were the ones who couldn't find their truck. Edward was trying to teach them that it's not a good game unless everyone who's playing can enjoy it. Come on, Thomas! It's time to go. See you next time. For animals to find places to live when there are so many people around all the time. I remember when Luke made friends with a young deer, but the quarry was far too noisy for the little thing. The peace and quiet of the Olfsted Castle grounds was a much better home for the deer. Rajiv and I both wanted to see a tiger, and so did a lot of other people. But the tigers didn't really want to be seen, and it wasn't always a good idea for people to find them either. Sometimes, the best way to help animals live happily and in peace is by leaving them and their homes alone. Come on, Thomas! It's time to go! See you next time! Ever help to look after an animal? Maybe you have a pet at home or at school in your classroom. Luke once found a little deer who was scared by all the noise at the quarry. So he brought it to a place that was safe and quiet. One winter, I brought some animals to Tidmouth Sheds to keep warm. All the engines helped. <laughs> Even James warmed to the idea. Here, chicky chicky chick, come to Uncle James. <gasps> oh, how cute. <laughs> Looking after animals is important and can be fun. Think about the animals around you and what they need to be safe and happy. Maybe you can find a way to help. Come on, Thomas! It's time to go. See you next time. <laughs> had to try a new way of doing something, it's not always an easy thing to get used to. <laughs> One time, a whale got stranded on the beach, and Toad thought of a new way of getting her back into the water. Oliver thought it was a silly idea, but in the end, we all gave Toad's idea a try. And it worked! I'd been lifted back onto the rails by cranes loads of times, but I'd never been helped by an elephant. When I needed help getting back onto the tracks, I learned that elephants could be really useful too. Maybe you'll get a chance to discover a new way of doing something. Give it a try. You may be surprised. Come on, Thomas. It's time to go. See you next time. What do you do when your friends are scared or upset? Sometimes you can help them feel better. My friend Henry used to be scared of the rain. He thought it would ruin his paintwork, so he would always try to find a place to hide and stay dry. I didn't like seeing Henry looking so sad and worried, so I tried to show him that rain was nothing to be frightened of. After all, it's only water. 
when Samson got scared of the fireworks, Bradford stayed with him and helped him get over his fear. Once Samson calmed down, he realized that he did quite like the fireworks after all. Sometimes we can help our friends feel better, just like our friends can help us too. And friends who help each other are the best friends of all. Come on, Thomas! It's time to go. See you next time. <laughs> Have you ever found it hard to understand what someone is trying to tell you? I know I have. But sometimes, it's just about paying more attention. One time, when Samson was going to the quarry, he coupled up to coaches instead of trucks. The other engines tried to tell him he'd made a mistake, but Samson ignored them and took passenger coaches to pick up some rocks. If I'd paid more attention to what the monkey was trying to tell me in the first place, I might have realized that he wanted to go home. And I might have seen the spilled coconuts in time to save them from being squashed. It's important to pay attention when someone is trying to tell you something. And it's good to ask questions if you don't understand. But right now, I need to pay attention to the station master. Come on, Thomas! It's time to go. See you next time.